Business plans are written for many reasons. First and foremost, prospective business owners write business plans to present to potential funders to secure funding for their business. All commercial lenders require comprehensive business plans, as do the majority of micro lenders, angel investors, and government funding sources, such as state VR agencies, the Social Security Administration, and one-stop career centers. Some family members even require a business plan in order to loan money to the business, which can be a smart strategy. Business plans document that the concept has been well-researched and supported and that the financial projections demonstrate that there is money to be made. Since lenders of any type ultimately want to get their investment back, it is critical information to document. So in the majority of cases where funding is sought, a business plan is a requirement. Beyond this, though, the writing of a business plan itself has tremendous utility. Business plan offers a vehicle for ensuring that all day-to-day -day components of running the business have been considered. They force prospective business owners and team members to think systematically about each and every part of running the business and help to identify potential gaps. Are there supports available for all services or tasks that require it? Are there gaps in the supply chain or the customer service strategies? Do you have a solid contingency plan if the supply chain breaks down? Or if actual sales wind up being two times greater than were projected? It can be easy to miss these items when you're working on researching each individual component part, such as developing marketing strategies. Writing the business plan requires that the entire team sit down and begin to go through a start to finish plan for each and every specific area of running the business, and it is much more difficult to overlook something critical with this approach. Generic business resources frequently cite that the single best strategy for min minimizing potential risk is the development of a comprehensive business plan. The business plan also serves as a roadmap for running the business. If actual sales do not hit the projected sales, it can be helpful to go back to the marketing and sales section of the business plan. Many times we find that prospective business owners and team members have been more focused on the production and have let the targeted marketing strategies slide. Perhaps they were planning on attending weekly local business connection meetings and then got caught up in filling orders and prioritized this over getting to the meetings. When sales begin to drop, they review the plan and realize that they are missing many of their key marketing opportunities. Without a plan, it can be harder both to check and balance actual daily activities against the targeted ones, as well as to reassess or evaluate what's working and what's not. Remember, all business plans are working documents, and it should be updated and revised regularly to reflect new information, trends, and outcomes.